Honestly, I've just heard everything from people getting pulled into cars um, to attacks with guns or knives. It's a scary time for students at the University of Oregon. It's ranged from zero to 100. She's talking about a series of robberies over the past few weeks, some involving guns or knives. And then one of my other friends was walking over on Hilliard and had a gun to her head and got robbed. And nothing happened. She's safe and she's sound now. Others have been physically grabbed and searched for stuff to steal. One of my good friends said she was grabbed by a guy and luckily she um, got away. And then over the weekend, a student says he was grabbed from behind, dragged into a car and sexually assaulted. Eugene police say they're investigating five robberies, all involving U of O students near campus. It's almost unbelievable. To students, that number sounds low. There's been like, what, 13 uh, robberies in the past like week? Something crazy like that? Well, I've heard that there have been a lot of robberies. I would say I've heard of about 15 or so, just all, all over from this area to um, over in 19th and Emerald area. Students say it's possible some incidents just aren't getting reported. Either way, they're taking safety seriously. I'm just pretty much just like texting people on their way home to see if they made it back okay. And Emma Kilger says her sorority is taking a proactive approach. Our sorority put together a whole order of pepper sprays. Suspect descriptions range and include white, Hispanic and black men. Until the criminals are caught, at least this provides Kilger a little peace of mind. I can just have that right in my pocket and in my hand if I need it. And she says her sorority has also established its own ride sharing system on Facebook pages. Still, she and many other students we've spoken to say they hope that Uber and Lyft will start operating here. We spoke with representatives with the city of Eugene. They tell me that Uber and Lyft are legally allowed to operate here, but because of some stringent city rules, the companies have decided not to. But starting last month, the city council here, they've decided to look at the rules and think about easing up on them. Back to you.